This is an insanely marbled Australian Wagyu short rib. We're gonna figure out if smoking or searing is the best way to cook it. This short rib comes from the plate section, and with a BMS of nine plus, the marbling is literally off the charts. It looks like it's about 75% fat. Because of all this marbling, we wanna find the best way to render it. I'm thinking that slow smoking will be more tender and slicing thin will be more rendered, but let's find out. So we're gonna start by removing one of the three bones. We'll be smoking the two of them and searing this one. Time to prep. Wow, this is the craziest marbling I think I've ever seen. This is a great process for smoking short ribs or even roasting them in the oven. Start by removing the silver skin and the fat cap on top. This will increase the surface area for our rub to stick to the meat for better bark. Short ribs are also so fatty on the inside, the fat cap is usually unnecessary. So we have that top side trimmed up, but as you can see on the back, unlike pork ribs, we're leaving that membrane attached. That's gonna allow them to maintain their shape. Even at room temp, my hands are covered with that Wagyu fat. For our binder, I'm using a thin layer of oil to help our rub stick, getting all sides. For our seasoning, I'm using a coarse salt and pepper based rub that's low in sugar. This is gonna help avoid burning. The coarseness is gonna give us incredible bark, and this amount looks just about perfect. Time to fire up the grill. We got our charcoal lit up. We're smoking over applewood, low and slow. Add ribs to the smoker, set at 250 Fahrenheit. Let's go in and tackle the other rib. The first thing we're gonna do here is remove the meat from the bone. Typically, you'd never sear this cut other than for Korean barbecue, but due to all that marbling, I think it's gonna stay tender. We'll save this for beef stock. Now we're gonna cut our slices at an angle against the grain. The grain runs in a few directions here, but I'm just doing my best. Too thin and the inside will overcook before we get our sear, too thick and it might be tough and not render. This looks just about right. We're gonna cook these directly over hot coals. Since our grill is being used, we're gonna cook these right over the chimney. It's also a great method for a quick steak as well. I'm adding a little bit of flaky salt directly before cooking to keep the surface dry. Place your slices directly on the rack, no need for oil. There's so much fat being released, oil is unnecessary. Because our coals are so hot, we immediately start to get that beautiful crust. Give it a couple flips. I'm not shooting for medium rare here. The priority is a good crust and rendered interior. The smell of Wagyu fat hitting coals is just insane. Let's bring them inside and check on the smoked ribs. It's been eight hours and our smoked ribs look just about done. Let's see how we did. As you can see, we have that thick, dark crust. In this case, there was no need to wrap. With an internal temp of 205, my thermometer slides through like butter and we know it's done. We're gonna wanna let these rest for at least 45 minutes. Let's slice into them. I can already tell they're insanely tender. Wow, these look amazing. We have that nice thin smoke ring. The marbling is still so pronounced. I'm just dying to bite into this thing. All right, time to see which one is best. Two very different preparations. We have our smoked ribs and those thinly seared slices. I'm adding wasabi soy sauce. And to cut through the richness, I'm adding some acidic kimchi. Let's go for a bite. It's tender, you definitely get that charcoal flavor. That's amazing. Next, we have those massive dino ribs. That bark is incredibly thick, so flavorful. I honestly don't know which one's better. Wow. All right, guys, even though one bite of this was absolutely delicious, just check out what's going on in here. I mean, it is like literally almost all fat. There's some strands of meat, but most of it is complete fat. Now, compared to this one, cut against the grain, direct contact with flames, the fat has fully rendered out, it's still nice and tender, and for those reasons, this one wins. If you're a fan of low and slow, don't forget to like and subscribe.